In this video, I'm going to show you how to add data to your SketchUp model that you can then read from within layout. So if I check out this tag here, these are actually auto text tags that are pulling information from this door from within SketchUp. So let's check it out. So SketchUp 2015 has introduced this really cool feature inside layout which allows you to pull information from your model so there's a couple of ways that you can do that and if I take a look at this drop-down menu you can see some of the data that is available to me and in this particular example and in this video I'm going to show you how to use dynamic components to add these um, these variables, this text data to your model that you can then read uh, using a label with the label tool inside layout. So let's go ahead and check out SketchUp and see how we can set this up. So to add any type of data to your model using dynamic components, first you need to select a component in your model. So in this case, this is a door component that I created. And then you want to go and open the component attributes. You can find that in the window menu and scroll down to component attributes. It's also in the dynamic component um, toolbar. If you don't have that available, you can right click and make sure that's checked. So this window shows you any attributes that are active in this component. So let's go ahead and just add an attribute. We'll make up our own name. These are a bunch of preset attributes. And you can get into some really complex um, attributes. So for instance, you can pull position data from the component, the size, rotation, and a bunch of other behaviors. Dynamic components are a huge subject and we're just really brushing the surface with what they can do. So instead of selecting one of these um, pre-configured attributes, let's just type in our own. So I'm going to type in model number. They have to, you have to make sure that there are no spaces in the attribute name. So I just made sure there was no space between model and number. And I just clicked outside of that and you can see it added that attribute. And right now the value is blank. So I'm going to type in a, um, I'm going to just make up a model number. So uh, D1234 and I'll press enter. So we've just attached this attribute and this value to this door. But before layout can actually see this, this value, we have to make sure that it's visible. So you just have to click this details button and in this drop down menu for the display rule just make sure it says users can see this attribute and you don't have to worry about anything else just go ahead and click apply and that's it so then we'll just save the the model and we'll go back to file and send to layout now in layout you're gonna have to just choose a template real quick and it'll drop the viewport of the model in place from the last view. So you're going to want to set this up, set up your viewport, you know, set the scale, set the scene if you have a scene. But we're going to skip that for this example. And the power behind this whole thing is in the label tool. So this is the label tool right here. And basically, wherever you click on the viewport, you can see the inference system snapping to different parts of your model. So whatever part you snap to is where the label tool is going to pull the information from. So I'm going to just click on the window here and I'm going to click and drag just to make that uh, curved label. And by default it will fill out the information uh, for one of the auto text. So you can actually just overwrite that and and just type in whatever you want But what we what we really want to do is pull the data from this uh, This model So if we just click this uh, drop-down menu, 
you can see on the left hand side in this column you have a list of all the different entities that you can pull information from so if I select the face that's actually pulling information from this face entity so it's digging into the component and pulling the information about the face so in this case it's giving us the area so it's showing us a square foot so we know we have a five square feet area for this glass now if I go up one level to the component that will give us the component name which is front door and as you can see our custom dynamic component attribute that we created is available for selection as well so what I'll do is I'll click front door so that adds in the component definition and you can actually add more than one uh, attribute so I'm just gonna click within this uh, this auto text attribute so it's not highlighted anymore I'll go over to the end tap enter to to go to a new line I'll grab the drop down menu again and I'll insert the model number and that's it so now when I click outside you can see once the label closes it actually shows us the component name and the model number now again you can edit this however you want if you want to have additional text within it you can do that as well um, so these auto text tags can be very flexible you can actually edit the individual text style so if I want to make that bold you can do that and really edit the label however you want another thing that I was experimenting with is working with the style of this label you know sometimes you might not want to even have a leader line going to the object so you can select the label and go to shape style and under the stroke color you can click on the color and bring the opacity down to zero and what that does is it makes the leader line completely invisible so you're just left with the text so you can see the leader is still connected because you still need to have that anchor reference um, so it knows where to pull the information from but as long as you click and drag the text box the anchor will stay connected and you can reposition the text wherever you want you can place it right over the object if you want or whatever you want to do so there's actually another way that you can attach data to your model within SketchUp and that's that's by using the classifier tool and the classifier tool can be accessed a few different ways um, I'm gonna just use the entity info window to assign a classification so it's a little bit confusing at first because the classification tool in SketchUp uses a standardized schema called the IFC 2 by 3 and if you're not familiar with IFC and the IFC file type this is really gonna be overwhelming for you um, you do have the ability to create your own schema and import it into SketchUp but even that process is sort of complicated that's why I wanted to show you how to use dynamic components to add simple tags to your models but the concept here is really really awesome so for instance I have the door selected I could assign it so this is a list of object types that are pre-configured in the schema so in this IFC 2x3 schema these are all the different object types that are available now there's a simplify button here so if you uncheck that it shows you the the complete library which is really overwhelming so if you just keep the simplify button checked I could tag this as an IFC door object okay so now this component has been tagged this object type but then on top of that if I go to window and component options we have these sets of attributes that are automatically added to the component which I can then expand and type in my own information so the only thing that um, I find challenging with this is it's really overwhelming if you don't need or don't use or don't understand how IFC works 
this is definitely overkill for for most people out there so i'm really looking forward to seeing new schemas being created i'm working on that right now to try to figure out the process of creating your own schema and being able to import that into sketchup so if you'd like to learn more about how these features these new features of 2015 can help you in your workflow i've updated my book at sketchup to layout.com and you can purchase the book it's an instant download and you'll learn all about how to use layout and again learn these new features that have been incorporated into sketchup and layout that have really kind of turned this this relationship between the two programs into a real bim modeling um, sort of relationship thanks for watching and be sure to click subscribe to get more videos like this to help you learn how to use sketchup and layout